Hello everyone, my name is Dennis, and today I'll be showing you how to use Kaggle to train your models for purposes of the homework. So to access, we shall start with uh, how to upload a notebook. So to upload a notebook, go to the code section here, and this will open up this page where I'll give you a new notebook button. Click on the new notebook. So this will open up a sample, sample notebook as you can see here. And then usually for part two, we offer notebooks that show code. So you can import that notebook to your session by clicking on this button and browsing through your files. So I'll upload mine, which is, and click on import. So once that is ready, you'll be able to see your notebook here. The next step is to add data to your tour session. So we do that by clicking on this add data button and searching for the particular data set that we're going to use. So uh, the advantage of tra training on Kego is that we host our competitions on Kego and once you've joined the competition, you can be able to access the data without having to download it either using the, the notebook or uploading it from your machine. So for, it's, for example, homework one part two, uh, we shall be using this data set shown here. You can copy this, paste it here and search. So we shall, we shall search for that notebook, for that data set and add it here. So once that is done, it's adding the data in the background. So yeah, our data will show up here. So Kego also offers you a folder where you can store your files, uh, for example, checkpoints and any other files that you'll be using for your session. Cool. Then we can move forward to the GPUs. So to access the GPUs, is this section on accelerators and Kego has two GPUs, T4X2 and GP, GPU1 P100. And today we shall be, I will be demonstrating the GPU P100. So click on this and turn on the GPU. So uh, then we can move on to language, which is Python. So we don't have to change this section. Uh, then we move to persistence. So for persistence, uh, it's meant to allow you to store your files permanently because at times your session can end abruptly and you may lose track of your files. But when you when you click on persistent, you select variables and files, all your files will be stored between sessions. So once that is done, we can go to this button and start our session. So once you click on start session, so so uh click back here and start session again so session will start when that is happening they will that the data will be downloaded to this notebook and you can be able to run it as you do on google Lab. thank you